Welcome to Inflow Communications, focus on the contact center. More specifically, we'll take a look at the Interactive Intelligence Contact Center offering PureCloud and how they're changing the contact center game. PureCloud Engage is Interactive Intelligence PureCloud Contact Center solution. We'll be taking a look at the agent experience. The single user interface provides a single pane of glass for navigating multi-channel ACD over an omni-channel solution, including voice calls, email, web chat, social media, SMS, and dialer capabilities. The Pure Cloud Engage Contact Center solution also provides a robust desktop workflow scripting tool along with integrated applications. Let's take a look at the agent experience live. Upon login, I'll be taken to my public profile. This is a profile that contains all the information about who I am, the associations and relationships I may have within the organization, and any skills and contact information. Very much like social media or LinkedIn or any other social media platform that you're used to, this profile here serves to notify others of who you are. The PureCloud application and this profile is available to all users. For the contact center users, there are more specific pieces and details that we will go into now. On the left-hand side of the pane, you'll notice that there's a small icon in green. This is my avatar, and this shows that I'm now currently logged into the PureCloud application. Here I can set my status and various options for notifying individuals within the organization of my current uh, contact availability. Also on the left are various icons that will be useful for the contact center agent. And here you'll see I have a favorites, I have a chat icon, video, calls, inbox, agent assistance, and my interactions. We'll get more into interactions in just a moment. For contact center users, the most important piece will be where do I log in for my queues. I can simply go to the upper left hand corner. I can activate queues and navigate that way. But the easiest option is to go all the way to the upper right hand corner. And here where it says off queue, simply click on that. And I'm now on queue and available for interactions or client interactions. You'll notice here that my profile was moved to the right. You can dismiss the profile by simply hitting the expand button at the top. Now I'm presented with a full screen and available and waiting for interactions. And this is depicted on the left-hand side where you can see that I'm currently waiting on queue, waiting to handle assigned interactions. You notice on my screen that an interaction has arrived on the left. I can simply pick up the interaction here. And you can see now that I'm connected to the interaction. Simultaneously, while the interaction came in, I was presented with a screen pop down below. This is an example of an agent workflow script, and this is for demo purposes only. However, this agent workflow script allows you to create as many different sorts of screen pops based on specific needs. You'll also notice in the screen pop down below that I've got interaction information about the caller. I've also got some account information where I've reached into a database of sorts or a CRM. All of this for the ability to present the information to an agent so they can communicate with your caller and handle the customer. Now you'll notice below that, I have the Inflow Communications website listed here. This is an iframe. Going back to the top of the interaction here, we can see on the, on the right of the interaction various tools. I have a dial pad here. Next to the dial pad is I have a mute button. I also have the ability to place the caller on hold. I can also transfer the interaction blindly, or I can do a consult transfer. I can also start and stop the secure pause. This is helpful when you're trying to deal with compliance and you have call recording. You wanna start and stop the recording at certain times during the interaction, especially when taking sensitive information. And lastly, I can end the call here. Now on the very far right, you'll notice that there are several icons. These four icons include canned responses. Next to canned responses are notes. Now the notes, when taken on any interaction, travel with the the interaction while it's being transferred from destination to destination, but they're also preserved for historical purposes for research later. Next to that icon, you also have the schedule a callback. And lastly, you have your wrap codes. Wrap up codes are used as the disposition or termination of the call or reason for the call. Now you can see here on the left hand side that I'm currently connected and active with this caller from Los Angeles. Up above, up above that, you can see the caller ID and information as presented from the system through the Pure Cloud platform. Now, once the agent completes its transaction and the customer hangs up, you notice on the right-hand side that the agent is put immediately into after call work. And you can see below the various wrap codes or reasons for the call. 
Here I'll flag the calls as sale successful, and then down below I will select done. Now that I'm ready for the, the next call, I've completed that transaction or interaction with the client, we'll wait for the next interaction. Now in order for you to see the interaction side by side, I've minimized my agent screen on the left hand side to be just a bit smaller, and on the right hand side is the customer email, or we'll go ahead and send an email transaction into the contact center. And notice that the email has come into the agent on the left hand side but towards the bottom. Let's answer this email. The reason the interaction came towards the bottom is because email is a non-real-time communication link. Voice calls and web chats will happen differently because they have different priority. In this case, we'll go ahead and respond to this email here. You notice that the email is in the same pane and the interface that the agent used for the telephone call. I can go ahead and begin a reply here. And you'll notice that it has the various tools for editing. And in the upper right hand corner, I do have the ability for canned responses. Again, I can take my notes. And then lastly, I have my wrap up codes. Now, once I reply to this customer's inquiry, the email has been sent. And you'll notice on the right hand side, the email has been received. Let's go ahead and finish the interaction on the left hand side where the agent is now in after call work. Now that I'm in after call work, I'm going to select a disposition or reason for that interaction. Once I select done, then I'm ready and waiting for the next interaction. The customer on the right has received the correspondence and reply all through the same interface and ease of use of the agent in PureCloud. Now let's take a look at a web chat interaction. You'll notice on the left hand side that the agent is waiting for the next interaction. We have seen a phone call and we have seen an email. For the website interaction, I have navigated to the website and here that the customer has asked for various pieces of information and then I can start the pop-up chat here. Let's go ahead and move this over to the right so you can watch the interaction simultaneously. Now you'll notice on the right that the customer received a response immediately. On the left hand side, you'll see that that interaction is the top of the queue of interactions pane because it is a real time communication. Let's go ahead and answer that interaction here. Now that the agent is on the interaction of John Doe, you can see that the pane is open below where I can reply. You can see here that the response is immediate. On the right hand side, the customer gets the inquiry. Now let's focus on the left here for just a moment. As with other interactions, the agent may need to transfer this interaction to different destinations. Here you can select this icon here where there would be a blind transfer. You also have the ability to end the chat here. On the right hand side of the pane, you'll see that there's various options. One is interaction details. Now, the interaction that came in from this client also, in the background, it grabs specific information about the customer. That information is here. So if you need to gather more information through the web chat, all the details are available to your agent through this icon here. Next to that icon is the icon which has canned responses, which you've seen previously, as well as the notes, which we've talked about. And lastly, this has the wrap-up codes. Now let's go ahead and respond to our customer here. Let's have our customer respond back. And you can see on the left hand side, the new messages are coming in. and then we'll have the customer close out. Customer exits, and you can see on the left-hand side that your agent now has the wrap codes which have been presented. I can grab the information, take it closed. Once I select done, I'm now ready and available for the next interaction. Let's do one final view here. Let's run a phone call and additional interaction simultaneously. First, the phone call. You can see on the left hand side the phone call is coming in and my screen pop has taken place. Let's answer the call here. Now that the agent is on the call, this is what it will look like with simultaneous interactions. On the right hand side, let's be the customer and let's start a web chat session.
Now I'll move the web chat to the right hand side so you can see them side by side. And you can see now that the web chat is coming in. You'll notice both of these interactions are real time and they fall to the top of the interactions pane. Let's answer the web chat. Now that I'm on the web chat, I can respond to the client here. And you can see the communication is taking place and the agent is still on the phone call at the same time. Now let's take it one step further. Let's have their customer on the right initiate an email. You can see the process of multiple interactions is very easy in the Pure Cloud platform. All interactions come into the same interaction pane and they can be prioritized based on need or value. <laughs> Hopefully this gives you a good idea of the Pure Cloud application and how flexible it is to meet your contact center needs.